And if you're joining me for the first time, this is How to Cook Salmon from Start to Finish. And we are in the almost done stage. As you can see, it's all steamed up. And we are getting the butter because we're making, we're going to make stuffed taro. And we're going to make stuffed uh, taro with salmon. So we're going to need one, two, three, let's do three tablespoons of butter. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to cut this stick of butter into little cubes because when the hot taro hits it, when you're mashing it, so here's the bowl with the taro is going to get. We're going to mix everything together. So let's just cut this into cubes. Okay, so let's check our taro. Actually, I got my little little skewer knife, um, fork here. So let's use that. No, definitely no. Okay. Okay, so let's check again. Because sometimes this can, this can, uh, I mean, it can, it can, it can cook through real fast. So you always want to check it. So see that, that same spot we opened up? Let's open it up again. Nope, still red. So let's close it. Still need to cook more. And the bottom of the pan is going to start to discolor. Don't freak out. Just let it, let it run its course. And let me get my potato masher out here. Oh yeah, and when you're mashing taro, again, it's the same thing. They're going to be slipping and sliding. So it's like, be real careful because I've, I've mashed taro before. And... No joke, you know, I was, I was, I was like, oh, I'm just going to mash taro, smash, mash, mash. It literally went, pew. just, it, it, it decided to uh, get really airborne because it slid against the bottom. It, it, it like a watermelon scene. I'm like, okay, um, I lost one. off. Got a little bit of dishes here. Well, that's cooking and we're waiting for the taro to uh, get nice and soft. I'm just going to do a little dishes here. Always try to have a, a clean, uh, clean sink. my um, video, my food talk video on, you know, here, 
use all your senses. As I'm here, I can I can see, I can hear the salmon. I can. It's just I can hear the salmon, and it's not happy because I'm going to eat it. So there's the salmon. Let's see if our taro is done. It's getting better. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit more. So just keep the salmon cooking. Uh, salmon, the, um, yeah, salmon cooking in the um, taro. Some more dishes done. Now, if you were gonna do this, oh God, I miss my barbecue. I love the barbecue, and I love to do barbecue episodes, but where I live, they don't allow barbecues because I guess they think the people are gonna, oh shoot. Yeah. I think, I think they think that people are gonna set themselves on fire. So, I don't know what it is. Like the last place I lived at, we had a barbecue and I just really miss it. And I have a whole bunch of good recipes for barbecue and stuff, but can't barbecue. I was thinking maybe going out into the park, but I'd have to, I mean, if I forget something, I'd have to be really on top of things to make sure, you know, I can be in the middle of things. You know, like, okay, today we're going to do this, this, and this, and then, oh man, oh yeah, well, guess what? This is a no-go. I forgot to bring this. Our, I'm going to check the taro. The way the charo, the, the charo, <laughs> the way the taro works is you want to stick, okay, it's sticking in. You want it to be really soft because you want it, you don't want it um, al dente or, or crispy. And as you boil it, you'll see how much more stickier it can really get. Okay, so we're going to cook it a little bit longer. Okay, so we're going to check this again, and just for safety, I'm going to take it over to the next, over here, it's perfectly fine, take the lid off, and if you look around the edges as it's cooking, it's going to be dark brown. So now that this crack I made, you can see that the fat's coming up through that. Let's pull it apart. Pull it apart. Okay, this is this, this one is really close. Cause look, look, I could, I could, I just gently and see how it came apart like that. It just came out. It came. It slid off. I mean, I just barely, barely pulled it apart, and it just slid off. Now, because one's done does not mean the other one's done. So let's just basically open one up and it's peeling off. But what we're going to do anyway, this is almost done. We are going to leave it on for, because we want to make sure this is cooked. We're going to leave it on for, I'm going to put it on for two more minutes. And I'm actually going to set the timer for this one. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Timer. So two minutes. And that should be done. And then after that, we're going to peel it. We're going to take it out. I'll show you to take it out of the pan. We're going to peel it, take the bones out. And we're going to use it in the, um, let's check our taro. does smell really good even though taro is one of these things where it has it lacks flavor until you add something to it it's got it's got an incredibly nice smell well to me it does 
So let's let that cook a little bit longer because it needs to be really, really soft. As soon as the um, the timer goes off, then we're going to put it on a plate. So let's get a plate here. Let's get my handy dandy spatula and you'll see how this just comes right off. And as you can see, all the fat has come out too. It's like it's all, that's the thing. You want all that, that fat from the salmon. Salmon has fat. Yeah, it does. <laughs> salmon is fat. <laughs> it needs to go on a diet. No, it doesn't. Because the fatter it is, the better it is. But it's that easy. It's like you can do this with any. Now, oh, there's the beeper. So let's turn this off. And make sure I don't splatter my, uh, splatter my, uh, So what we're going to do now is watch this. Hope you can see this. The skin is going to stay on the pan. Voila! See how it works? See how neat that is? You see the skin right there? So come over here. Slide your spatula underneath it. And let's go over here. Now a little skin, like right here, came off. but. Now, it's like you don't have to deal with the skin. Let's pull this apart. These are completely, completely nice. They're not dried out. They're moist. And our uh, taro is taking off here. See, I'm right in front of it, so it's not taking off too much. Let's stick this again, because we need to watch this. Okay, yeah, now it's done. Okay, let's shut that off. And... Let me show you how to, I'm not going to leave you stranded going, let me make sure I have enough time here. Um, I'm not going to leave you stranded going, well, gee whiz, she showed me how to make salmon, but she left me with a dirty pan. Pour water. Well, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, you don't want to pour this in now. See, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't do that because I let it cool down a little bit. Um. I'm going to do this real fast. So what you want to want to do is going to want to bring this back to a boil. Make sure the burner is off. This thing's giving me a hard time. Bring this to a boil. Take your spatula. Get a whole bunch of whiff of, uh, whiff of, um, of smoke, I mean, gas in your, oh God, I hate that thing. Anyway, okay. As soon as there's boiled, get in there with the spatula and loosen it up and they'll be, it'll come right out. And if you want to, you can add a drop of add a drop of uh, of dish soap to it so let that boil and that'll be fine that's how you clean that and after it comes to boil of course let it cool down so you don't burn yourself and I'll be right back 